My name's Emma Carter, and today we're doing episode one of a three-part mini-series with Fatay Apparel. I'm Eat With Emma on TikTok if you want to go follow that. I make lots of super fun recipes like the one we're going to make today, which is chickpea and cauliflower flatbreads. Now, if you're vegetarian, this is a really good one, but also you can add any sort of protein, chicken, steak, whatever you want, but for today we're doing chickpeas. So let me show you how to make this. This is a really fun recipe. It's super easy. It'll probably take around 30 minutes total to do, not including cleanup. We never include cleanup, sadly. Um, first thing, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and then line, which I didn't advance for you guys, line one cookie sheet, baking sheet with parchment paper. Um, put parchment paper down always first. It just makes it a lot easier. Your food won't stick to the pan and easier for cleanup later. So first things first, what we've got here, we've got one can of chickpeas, we have a head of cauliflower, half an avocado, these flatbreads, cilantro, some seasonings, turmeric, and then we also need, let me introduce everybody to the world's best hummus. This one, this is not a brand deal, but if you want it to be, it can be. It's the Royal Gourmet Foods hummus. It's so good. I think it's because it's really high in garlic. So maybe if you don't like garlic, this isn't the one for you, but that's a really good hummus. So first things first, we're gonna open our can of chickpeas. Now, if one thing, one special tip I wanna share with you guys is my mom always tells me to look for, I think it's ETDA sodium in chickpeas that's in cans, and we wanna try and avoid that. So this brand, if you look on our ingredient list, it's literally just chickpeas and water. So when you're trying to buy chickpeas, just look for chickpeas and water. And it's super easy. So we're gonna wanna grab our can opener and open our can. I think this is upside down. It worked earlier when I did a can. I swear I can open one, I promise you. It opened so well, but now I feel like I'm not. Give me assistance. Thank you. I loosened it up for you. Once your chickpeas are open, you're going to pour and wash these. So chickpeas come in a liquid. So pour your can of chickpeas into a bowl and then take it over to your sink and rinse thoroughly and try and get all that liquid out. It's so weird. When you wash chickpeas, it foams. Anyone know why? Because I have no idea why. So once you've washed your chickpeas, and I think I have a towel here, you're gonna to wanna to pour them into a medium sized bowl, which we have here. And we'll do about half a can. If you're cooking for maybe three or four people, you can do the whole can, but if it's just for yourself, I'd say probably half a can. So we'll pour half of these into here. And it's okay if they're still wet. We actually want that because it'll help the seasonings stick together better. So for chickpeas, we're gonna keep it really easy, really simple. We're gonna throw in some salt, pepper, turmeric, and then olive oil. For Oh, here. If you want to change the flavor up, you totally can. You can do whatever you have on hand. If you want to make it spicier, you can add some chili flakes, chili pepper, or if you want to make it sweet, you could do even like teriyaki sauce or soy sauce or something like that. It's totally up to you. And I think a lot of people get intimidated. I'm just putting in pepper. When you look at recipes and you see there's 20 ingredients that you need and they are all things that you don't have in your cupboard. That's what we're trying to avoid with these recipes or in this series. I'm just gonna do a drizzle of olive oil. We wanna do ingredients that you're gonna have on hand that are easy. And then also cooking is really customizable. So if you don't have something, it's fine. You can totally make it the way that you want it. Or if you're like, this recipe is a lot of mushrooms and I hate mushrooms, don't put mushrooms in it. Put in some peppers, put in something else that you like instead. I'm looking for a spoon, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, so you're gonna wanna toss your chickpeas until everything's lightly coated, just like it is. 
Check on your oven to see if it's preheated. I think ours is preheated. So your bowl will look like this. And then on your pan here, everything that's gonna go on here will be cauliflower and your chickpeas. So we're gonna wanna do one half of it with your chickpeas and then leave room for your cauliflower to go on the other side. So we're just gonna pour our chickpeas on. Make sure it's spread out because we wanna bake these. We want these to be crispy. So we don't really want them on top of each other. So we're just gonna spread them out nicely, just like this. And then when the chickpeas bake, they're gonna shrink quite a lot. So if you're looking at these chickpeas going, that's a lot of chickpeas. Yeah, it is a lot of chickpeas actually, but they'll shrink a little bit. So we're gonna throw them in the oven. Wow, <laughs> it's a hot oven. And I hope this fits in here. because I feel like it might be too big. Okay, put it in a sheet that actually fits. I think I'm gonna make shift this into a rack. There we go. Put it in, you're gonna wanna set a timer for 10 minutes and let those start cooking. I highly recommend utilizing the timer on your phone because what I really like to do is just say, oh yeah, 10 minutes and then go from there and then all of a sudden it's 20 minutes and everything's burnt. So use the phone timer. We've got the timer, 10 minutes, ready to go. That's now like a fun little game because we have 10 minutes to prep our cauliflower. So when you get ahead of cauliflower, it comes with a lot of these really nice green leaves, which you can actually use in other recipes. However, I'm not in a green leaf mood today, so we're not gonna use these. Um, we're just gonna peel them off, put them in your compost, and get rid of them. And then I'm just gonna quickly wash the head of cauliflower. We're gonna wanna use roughly half a head. If you're like, what's a head, Emma? This, this is a head of cauliflower. Isn't it so nice? Um, we're gonna cut it in half and just use one half of it. We can set our other side away, use it for something else, or if you really want, you can just use all of it and you can store the container with your leftover cauliflower in it. So I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these leaves. You know one time I saw a wrap and I think it was at that, what's that place everyone eats in LA, Air One? I saw a wrap that was wrapped in cauliflower leaves instead of like a tortilla. If anyone's had that, let me know. Is it, does it taste good? Cause I feel like it tastes kind of weird, but I don't know. Anyways, so your cauliflower will look like this. We're gonna wanna cut it lengthwise, almost as if you're slicing bread. We want them to be flat. So when they bake in the oven, they bake really nicely. So. We're gonna go like this and just start to slice almost as if we're making bread. And then you'll see they'll come off in all different sizes. It'll probably break apart, which is fine. But just as the green stem is starting to come out, just take that out as you go. And I might rip this off. Also, I'm not a chef, by the way, everyone. I just, someone who likes to cook in their free time. And these recipes are really doable for anyone just like that, or just trying to learn how to cook. Like I don't have any special culinary background. Like this is pretty easy to do. So once you have it, it will look kind of like this, like these flats. You can either pick your cauliflower apart, so you have like these pieces like this, or you can leave them flat like this and bake them. So we're gonna take the bowl we had before. You don't need a new one. And we're gonna throw our cauliflower pieces in. I'm gonna break them apart a little bit just to get rid of that middle stem here, which I feel like isn't that fun to eat. Personally, I have cauliflower over broccoli, but I feel like that's kind of an unpopular opinion. I feel like a lot of people prefer broccoli over cauliflower. I think people get intimidated by cauliflower. I think it's kind of one of those intimidating vegetables because it's kind of like, what do you do with it? It's kind of weird looking, isn't it? Anyway, so now we have this cutting board that's full of just like our leftovers. So I would clean this off quickly and put it in a, all these leftovers in a food waste bin if you can. But quickly, just with this, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our chickpeas. Super easy, grab your olive oil, give it a little drizzle, and then turmeric, salt, pepper, 
drizzle it in. In the recipe book that will be on Vitae's app, it'll give you exact measurements. If you're a little unsure and you're saying, I don't know how much turmeric to put on, I don't know how much salt, I think I have it written down to the teaspoon, so you can do that too if you want to measure it up. But really it is up to flavor and taste. And don't be afraid to taste your food as you're making it. So I'll do, put on some pepper again. And then we have cilantro here too to top on at the end of our flatbread, but if you want to cut up some cilantro and put it in when it bakes too, that'll be really good. Maybe we should do that, let's do that. Let's spice it up a little bit. A trick with cilantro to make it last longer, damp a couple paper, paper towels and wrap the cilantro in it and put it in the fridge and it will last a lot longer. So we're just gonna chop up our cilantro, which I also learned is called coriander. So if you see coriander at the store, it's also cilantro. Why is that? You know what I also learned? Zucchini is also called aubergine. Anyways, fact number what? Three for you? So mix these up until everything's nice and coated. And then we're gonna take our sheet out of the oven again. So it's been in for six minutes, which is fine. We'll take this out and we'll add them in. Now I saw really cool oven mitts earlier. Ha. This man, found him. Okay, everyone ready for smoke to fly out? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, our chickies are cooking nicely. Not done yet though. So on our other half of the sheet, which we've left open, we're gonna lie flat our cauliflower so they bake nice and evenly. Please be careful while you do this because this is a really hot sheet here. This is also like very tedious to do. So if you really wanted, you could just throw it on. But we're not going to because this is so fun, isn't it? We're having fun right now. It's like a good therapeutic thing, isn't it? I also think that's another thing with cooking. I think a lot of people don't have a lot of time to cook and they wanna just make something really easy and quick. And honestly, this takes 30 seconds for me to just lay it all flat. And it tastes better when you do that. I like to think of cooking as a fun way to like unwind at the end of the day. You could put on your favorite songs, Bob Marley, and then you can make yourself a really nice dinner. Okay, I feel like that's good. We'll put this in. Try and get any pieces of, if you did chop up cilantro, some there in the bowl, put it in there. Now my hands are washed, but I'm gonna wash them again because they're now in, covered in oil. Okay, back in the oven they go. Another trusty little chef man. I should have got a chef hat. I should have put a chef hat on. Wouldn't that have been fun? Do you guys wear aprons when you cook? I do, do you like my apron? Okay, back in the oven. And then I've written down on the recipe for you What did I say? 25 to 30 minutes. So, and then halfway through, you're gonna wanna go in, toss the chickpeas, turn over your cauliflower pieces. So I'm gonna reset my timer now. It's at a minute left for the chickpeas. We're gonna reset this for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, we're gonna go in and check. In the meantime, this is something my mom, I think has really put into my head clean as you go. So we have 15 minutes and our food's just cooking. We're gonna take all of our stuff that we have sitting here and we're just gonna start cleaning until our timer goes off. Which is gonna be really fun for everyone to sit and watch me clean, huh? We can clean together. All right, step two, while our stuff's in the oven, we've cleaned up a little bit. We're now gonna make our hummus and avocado mixture. Also, my mom so kindly reminded me that zucchini is not aubergine. It's I just said what it is, what is it? Courgette, zucchini's courgette, that's what it is. Eggplant is aubergine. So now that's two fun facts for you.
and it's been fact checked, so don't worry about that. So we're gonna take our really good hummus and we're gonna take around two tablespoons of this hummus and put it into a small bowl. Again, we don't have any spoons, so we're gonna use a fork. <laughs> so we'll take roughly two tablespoons. I really like this hummus, so maybe a generous two tablespoons. Put that in there. And then we're gonna wanna take half an avocado. Look how beautiful this avocado is. Half of this guy, and we're gonna mash this all up. So I'm just gonna cut into this avocado here, roughly. So when I scoop it out, it'll be a little bit easier to mash up. And we're gonna wanna mash it into a guacamole type consistency, enough that it's spreadable. Is this really un unsatisfying for me to put my hummus fork in here? Is that really gross to everyone? Here, I'll wipe it off for you. Cause that's another thing. If you don't have that many utensils, just use what you have, right? So if I need to use my hummus fork, I'm gonna use my hummus fork. Anyways, we're gonna wanna mush this into like a guacamole consistency so we can spread it onto our delicious flatbreads. So once I cut it out, it made it really easy for me to scoop out the avocado and leave the shell. And we'll just throw that into our bowl like this, throw our shell in our compost. And then we're just gonna mash this up until it's all together. And then here too, this hummus is really flavorful, so I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper or anything, but if you have a more milder hummus, if you really wanna spice it up and make your own hummus, feel free again to add, if you wanna add some heat, some hot sauce. I am terrible with hot sauce. So I don't have hot sauce in these recipes, but you can totally add whatever you want here. I am so bad with anything Spicy. And I wish I was one of those really cool people. I could be like, yeah, throw on the, I don't know, the ghost pepper, the really hot pepper on and I'll eat it and be so good. Can't do that. So I'll just stick to my, my hummus and avocado. <laughs> so I mashed it up. There's some avocado chunks in here, which is fine, but as long as it's relatively spreadable, you're good to go. And we'll set that aside so it's ready to go when our chickpeas and stuff are done. Normally at this point is when I'd start to pull out other snacks for me to munch on while I'm eating. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take a spoonful of this and eat it. Maybe I'll eat some chickpeas while I'm waiting. Okay, so our cauliflower and chickpeas have been in the oven for roughly 15 minutes now. So that's our halfway point. We're gonna wanna take them out and just rotate everything. Flip all the cauliflower, give the chickpeas a little bit of a shake. So let's check them out. Oh, Oven. <laughs> oh, they look good. And you're gonna know your chickpeas are done is when they're really crispy. The cauliflower will change a little bit in color too, but you'll see it will start to darken around the edges. So I would suggest using a fork or a spatula or something to just flip everything over. I'm gonna take this fork here and just give everything a nice flip. And then, once you flip it too, feel free to re-season all of the cauliflowers. You might want to add also a little more olive oil if you don't feel like they're crisping enough. But we'll flip everything over. If you really wanted to, you could just grab the whole pan and kind of shake the whole thing enough. If you want, a spatula would be really helpful because you can just grab a whole bunch and flip them too. But a fork also works. So get everything you flip. Here with the chickpeas, I'm just going to go like this mix them a little bit just so you can start to cook the other side and then I'm going to give everything a little sprinkle of salt so put my fork down a little topping on the seasonings our timer so that would be to take them out so we're going to want to put them back in again for 15 to 20 minutes, or until you feel like everything is crispy enough. The chickpeas might cook before the cauliflower. If that's the case, you feel like the chickpeas are crispy, take them out, put them in a small bowl, and keep the cauliflower cooking. So back in the oven for 15 more minutes. Our chickpeas are crispy, our cauliflower is soft and cooked, so we've taken them out of the oven. 
Next thing we need to do, I'm gonna quickly take our two flatbreads. Now you can use anything you want. If you wanna use non bread, flatbread, even tortillas as your base, it's totally up to you. We have these two little tiny flatbreads. I think they're like tomato basil. I'm gonna quickly just throw them into the oven just to heat them up for like five minutes. This oven like gets so hot. And with, I think it's flatbread, but if you put it in for too long, I learned this the other day, that if you put it in for too long, it just gets really hard and makes like a tortilla shell. So when you move it, it just snaps in half which is what we don't want for this recipe. So we're gonna put those in quickly and let them heat up. In the meantime, take your avocado and hummus mixture, get that ready. And then if you have a spatula or some kind of scooper, we're gonna scoop the stuff onto the non bread. We take our flatbreads out and now we're gonna do the assembly. So hummus avocado mixture, you can use just a nice butter knife. And we're gonna spread this along your flatbread, almost as if you're making pizza or something, right? If you're making tomato sauce, that's also an easy substitution for this too. If you're not into avocado or hummus or anything, do tomato sauce. And it's kind of like a little mini pizza that you've got going on. If you have a bigger tortilla too, that would be great if you wanted to make this kind of like a pizza base. If you have yams, you can make kind of like a yam um, mashed potato. And you can also put that on top too instead. So we're just gonna put our mixture on both. Just like this. And be you can be as generous as you want. I quite like quite a lot on here. It just tastes good. I really like this hummus. I'm just gonna keep saying that. This hummus is so good. So once you have both, this is kind of a small plate, so I'm gonna put it onto the bigger plate here. And then you're gonna take your cauliflower and your chickpeas and you're gonna place them on top of your little mini flatbreads. And it's really good. And it's nice when everything's warm too. But obviously there is quite a lot of chickpeas here and they're easy to store. You just put them in an airtight container and put them in the fridge. You can eat them, heat them up later. This is also a great dinner, I feel like, to make if you have friends over too because you can just leave this flat and everyone can make their own. They can put chickpeas or no chickpeas, whatever they want, and put on the cauliflower. Also, if you don't like cauliflower, make this recipe and you'll like cauliflower. It's so good, especially with the turmeric on. Okay, I feel like we need one more nice piece put on top of this one. Top it off just like that, and then you're gonna wanna take a little bit of balsamic glaze not balsamic vinaigrette, that is a thinner mixture. This is kind of thick, as you see, I'll pour it on, you'll be able to tell, and just drizzle that on. I love this stuff, that's so good, oh my goodness. And then just like that, you can totally add a little bit of coriander or cilantro if you want. Break it up, cut it up your choice, top it a little sprinkle on again. I put some on, on the cauliflower, so that's I'm not too worried about getting on top of here. And then just like that, you have beautiful cauliflower and chickpea flatbreads. Serve to your friends, enjoy. And now, if you want, you can pause the video and we can take our first bite of the flatbreads together. And if you decide to make them any variation, if you do the sweet potato, the tomato, the avocado, if you use the hummus, Tag me, tag Vitae, we'd love to see you guys recreate the recipes. So, pause the video, and let's get ready to take our first bite. Okay, here we go. Crispy chickpea cauliflower flatbread with a balsamic drizzle and avocado hummus. Music to my ears. Literally? This tastes like it's from the restaurant. I don't mean to brag, but this is delicious. You should definitely make it. And if you had the first bite, rate it out 10. Be honest. If you think it's a 10, don't worry. You can say 10. Anyways, if you want to give this recipe a try, it'll be on the Vite Apparel app. Um, tag us, let us see your creations. We'd love to see it. And stay tuned for episodes two and three where we make a bunch of other really fun recipes. Thank you.